So it's the Virtual Physiological Human Network of Excellence Study Group and it's on regenerative aspects of epithelial cells and tissues. It's a real mouthful but it's all about cells that line the membranes of our skins, of our gut and we're looking at how they repair. A lot of biologists are explicitly frightened of mathematics and that's something we have to work to get round. But I think an increasing number see the benefit of talking to mathematicians. But increasingly biologists are becoming aware that um, perhaps there is uh, something useful to come out of mathematics that, that can help their research. By using mathematics, we can simulate things that otherwise we couldn't simulate, but equally, it, we may tease out extra meaning. We actually learn things ourselves and obtain insights that we wouldn't necessarily have obtained if we had just continued to think in our squishy, biological sort of way. Right, so on day one, we literally just sat there pulling our hair out, trying to work out exactly what was going on. Often, it, it depends very strongly on the personalities involved. So sometimes there can be quite strong arguments about what should go in models. Sometimes people just start beavering away straight away and doing the details. They asked some, some very incisive questions. Um, which certainly made me think and go away and look things up. As we all get further into our own specialisations, our own fields of interest, we quickly discover that the data sets grow, the concepts become larger and larger, and the simple science with a pencil and a bit of paper doesn't really work any longer. TGF beta is... Ah! So the, the stuff on the whiteboard is essentially coming out of the discussion, so people toss ideas back and forth in terms of how to write down the right equations. Um, once they're up there and agreed, typically you, you go away and simulate. Um, we're not doing huge scale simulations here, so it's, people are doing it on laptops and so on. It's actually really fun and it's quite different because, you know, in my day-to-day -day work, I'm working on my own, I, I, on a desk, with just my brain and, and now it's like lots of brains on the same problem and actually talking about it. Right, so now we're off for the conference dinner, uh, one of the fun parts of the study group. So we have a bit of uh, drinks at first and then hopefully during dinner people will uh, socialize and you know start networking. Well, it was wonderful. Uh, we had back and forth discussions between the uh, biologists and the uh, mathematicians. We've just moved much quicker than I thought, probably because I wasn't here for two or three days. That, that didn't slow people up. There was, yeah, there was some, there was some genuinely difficult mathematics in there, and that pleases me too. And in my turn, that's five pints, which is quite a huge <laughs> volume of... Uh... I think it will inform future decisions and allow us to develop our strengths and strategies thereafter. Headway was made and equally importantly, collaborations have started to be established. Um, and it's always very pleasing to see young new researchers getting so enthusiastically involved with things. Mm -hmm.